Coronation Street Eileen Grimshaw is set to rumble evil husband Pat Fellon, who recently fell into a vat of concrete and survived. Eileen has been unlucky in love since arriving on the ITV soap in 2000. And married Baddy Fellon in 2017. The character is played by actress Sue Cleaver, who is also a supporter of charity Diabetes UK. As she has been diagnosed with the condition herself. Here's everything you need to know about the serious condition. In 2011 it was reported Sue collapsed at work and was rushed to hospital. A spokesperson for Coronation Street told Mail. Online at the time, Sue felt ill on set and was taken to hospital as a precaution. Speaking out while supporting Diabetes Week. Sue told DiabetesAdvice.co.uk, having good control of diabetes is really important, after all, people with the condition live with it every day. Taking care of their diet and physical activity levels. According to Diabetes UK, Diabetes is a serious lifelong health condition that occurs when the amount of glucose, sugar, in the blood is too high because the body can't use it properly. If left untreated, high blood glucose levels can cause serious health complications. There are two main types of diabetes, type 1 and type 2. Type 1 is where the body's immune system attacks and destroys the cells that produce insulin. Type 2 is where the body doesn't produce enough insulin, or the body's cells don't react to insulin. They're different conditions but are both serious and need to be treated and managed properly. According to the NHS, the common symptoms for both type 1 and type 2 diabetes include urinating more than usual, especially at night, feeling tired and thirsty, unexplained weight loss, and cuts or wounds that heal slowly. Anyone diagnosed with the condition must eat healthily and exercise. They also need to carry out regular blood tests to ensure their blood glucose levels stay balanced. People with type 1 need regular insulin injections for the rest of their life. With type 2, tablets may eventually be required. For more detailed information and advice visit Diabetes UK or NHS.co.uk.